What's up YouTube, this is your boy Composite, and bringing you guys a new helpful tutorial on my channel, obviously. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the outline tool in Max on Simula 4D. Uh, before I get into that, I just want to thank you guys for nearly 8,000 subscribers. That's really awesome. Uh, I know we haven't been posting as much as we should be, and things have been moving kind of slow, but if you guys follow our Twitter, you'll know that we've just been extremely busy personally, and um, we totally expect to be doing a video or two every week from now on, instead of just the every other day, where it's like three or four videos a week. We're just going to be uh, slowing it down to one to two. So if you guys understand that uh, summer's coming up I obviously don't want to be spending eight hours in the on the computer inside all day uh, some of us actually do have a social life believe it or not so that's that I also want to thank you guys for checking out last week's video which was the composited challenge uh, week one I'm really happy with the feedback on that so far and um, be sure to check out the entries and the guys who submitted their entries in the comments section on that. I'll be sure to link that video below. And lastly, uh, I'm with this tutorial, I'm going to be asking for 150 likes. Uh, let me know you guys support us. And in return, I will give you guys a new material pack or a CC or two to work with. Um, I hope you guys would appreciate that. So let me know in the comments what you want about those. Uh, so yeah, now let's get into the tutorial, obviously. What we have today is just this outline effect. In Max on Cinema 4D, it's pretty simple. Um, I have some different effects on this. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do those later. But basically, it's just an outline of a spline. So obviously, this is C1. I know I'm saying obviously a lot, but um, this is like my fifth time recording this. So bear with me. Uh, I'm just going to delete this really quick, and we're going to go and we're going to create a new text spline. We're going to name this Swag because why not all caps because we're raging hardcore flamers uh, now I'm just gonna change the text to we can do Rockwell that actually looks pretty cool it looks swagalicious uh, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this text editable by hitting the C on your keyboard or you can also go up to this little button over here again and just hit C it's whatever is easier I always know the shortcuts so if you guys ever need to know some shortcuts hit me up on uh, Twitter or whatever um, so now we can edit basically all of these spline points that we have uh, but you wouldn't know how to do that if you didn't know about these nifty little boxes over here. Uh, obviously, I know this tutorial is in for people who are newer to Sim 4D, but this also might help people who know their way around and didn't know this effect. Um, so yeah, you can basically click on any of these objects. Uh, these are like point paths in your spline and move them around and shit. It's really cool. I uh, can create some cool effects. But that's not what we want for this tutorial. What we want to do is right click on our mouse and we're going to go all the way down to create outline. It's in the third, fourth, or fifth, sixth uh, section, all the way down. It's all the way down. You guys will find it. It has like two circles. Just click on it. And what you can do now is drag to the right, click and drag to the right a little bit, and you'll see an outline form on your text. And it kind of looks, um, looks weird at first, but uh, you guys will understand what it does. If we create an extrude nerves and put our text under it, you guys will see that now we have a solid object and um, our A is kind of messed up there that's kind of weird so if we just go back and we can re-edit it reposition it a little bit just like like that and then what we can do is just go ahead and create the extrude nerves again and our A still isn't fixed but I don't give a fuck so I mean that's whatever next what we're gonna want to do is um, just gonna put our material on. I'm just using a white material because it flows nicely with the lights that I have. I didn't want blue or anything. Uh, hashtag America. But now what we're gonna do is just go to our extrude nerves, go to the caps. I'm gonna do some fillet cap work really quickly. So put both of them on fillet caps. I'm gonna put the radius to three centimeters. You can just do whatever you prefer. And then I've always put the steps up to five. And what's this gonna? What is this gonna do? You might ask, well, what it's going to do is if we render it really quick, you'll see that it creates and it makes the edges of the caps really smooth. And, um, uh, you know, it looks really nice. It looks modern and sleek. Um, it kind of looks weird with that A right there. I did not expect that for this tutorial. But as I said, this is like my fifth time recording this. I just chose a different font because why not? So this has basically been this tutorial. You guys can totally use this for... Um, some cool add-on effects. I'm sure someone will figure out something really cool to do. You could probably do rocks with a displacement material on the outside and then on the inside create a second text and put lava or something melting down. That would look really cool. I'd love to see if someone do that. But um, that's basically it for this tutorial. It's pretty simple. I just want to update you guys, give you guys something to listen to. Um, 
that's about it. Again, 150 likes on the video would be really helpful. It will help you and help other people who watch our videos. It will give you an awesome material pack or an awesome CC pack, whatever I choose to do. Or whatever you guys tell me what to do. It doesn't really matter. Just whatever you guys want to have. My wish is your command. So that has been it for this tutorial. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this video. It helped you out. Um, there's going to be a link in the upper left corner to subscribe. So be sure to check that out for me. And peace.